In the first reading today, St. Paul tells Timothy and us that we are to lay hold of the eternal life to which we have been called. In other words, it's not just this vague promise that's out there. It's not something that we simply have to look at and say, well, it's, it's up to the Lord and blah, blah, blah. He's saying, no, you need to do your part. Take hold of eternal life. You're gonna to have to fight for this. This is something that you have to decide is what is most important to you, and that is what you are going to make your, your, your goal. That's, that's what you're going to make as the priority. And then we listen to what our Lord says in the gospel. And he tells us that if we don't carry our cross and follow him, we can't be his disciple. Now, of course, we look at it and say, oh, yeah, I know I can carry the cross and I'll follow Jesus wherever he tells me to go. But then he says, all right, if you're going to build a tower and you lay the foundation and then decide that you don't have enough money to finish it, what happens? If you're going out to battle with 10,000 troops and you're coming against somebody with 20,000, what are you going to do? Well, he talks about suing for peace. Our enemy is Satan. Do you really want to make peace with Satan? Huh, all you have to do is sin. You'll be at perfect peace with Satan. No, there's not an option. There is no sending a delegation for peace because our battle is against the powers of hell. And yeah, there are lots and lots of them. And we're outnumbered miserably. But we have the Lord. We have our Blessed Lady. We have the angels and saints. We're never alone. But we have to choose to enter the battle. We have to choose to lay hold of the eternal life to which we have been called. Again, this isn't just, uh, well, you know, maybe we can make it there, maybe, maybe, maybe. No, you have been called, St. Paul said. God has called you to eternal life. Now we have to choose it. We have to decide that that is what's most important. We have to be able to look at what the cost is going to be. If I'm going to make it to eternal life, there's a price to be paid. Because it's ultimately the reward for having won the battle. It's not a guarantee just because we were called. But rather, it's a great privilege to be called. But now we have to be willing to put in the effort. So again, as we look forward to what is coming, every one of us is going to have to make that choice. Are we going to remain faithful? The only way is loving Jesus. The only way is having a solid prayer life, as I keep telling you. So look at your prayer life. Are you really laying hold of eternal life to which you've been called? <laughs> Yeah, well, you know, I do a morning offering every day. Yeah, okay, so you put a brick in on the foundation. You're supposed to be building a whole tower. Are we really laying hold of eternal life? Is that really what our lives are all about? Is that really the focus that we're looking toward? Or are we just looking for more things in this world? Are we looking for more ease and more comfort and all the different things that the world has to offer. Are we not essentially saying to the devil, look, I'll, I'll look for peace terms. We don't want peace with the devil, nor do we want peace with the world. We want peace with Jesus Christ. And the only way we're gonna be at peace with the Lord is when we're willing to take up our cross and follow him. The cross is going to be laid on our shoulders. The cross that is given to us is not our choice. It is given. We have to receive it. We have to accept it. 
And so again, we have to be willing to ask, am I willing to do this? When we think about it in our poetic terms, in our you know, nice little story terms, it's, oh yeah, isn't that nice? I can carry the cross with Jesus. Now, the cross that he's gonna put on your shoulders is the one you do not want. That's a guarantee. It's never gonna be the one that you want. This is what I do really, really well. So if God puts that cross on my shoulders, I can handle that. No, no, he's going to look at it and say, here are the things you do not do well, so here's what I'm going to ask you to do. Here's what you need to work on. That's what the cross is going to be. All the things that are hard for us. So again, are we willing to accept that? Are we willing to embrace it? Are we really willing to try to do God's will under the weight of that cross? That means quit the whining. No more complaining. If your cross looks just like your spouse, love your cross. Rejoice in your cross. Quit complaining about it. Yeah, I'm sure it's a pain. That's not the point. That's your salvation. That's how God's making you a saint. You ought to be rejoicing in that. It's a whole lot easier to complain. Jesus didn't do that, and neither can we. So whatever it is, it doesn't matter what the cross is. It may be other people, it may be health situations, it may be financial situations, it may be being dragged through the mud, whatever it is, recognize what God is trying to do. He's trying to make you a saint. Now we have to choose to lay hold of it, to accept it, to embrace it, to rejoice in it, so that we can cooperate with God and become the saints that he is asking us to become because he has called us to eternal life. And no one can get into eternal life unless they're a saint. That's what he wants. He has called you and now he is going to give you every means to be able to do it. Now it's just up to us as to whether we're going to accept it, whether we're gonna cooperate with it, and whether we're going to become the saints to which we have been called.